Halloween season's over. <laughs> not on this channel, motherfuckers. Jen will not keep friendly. Sorry. Welcome to Shadow Alley on this channel. We talk about horror movies and silicone masks and other creepy things. So if you're into that sort of stuff, feel free to subscribe and stick around. This is not a silicone mask. I buy lots of silicone masks. Obviously, I'm addicted to them. But when you buy a silicone mask, all you have is from here to here looking awesome. What about the rest of your body? I started trying to figure out ways to create complete characters. So I'm still obsessed with silicone masks. I'm still actively buying them, but I'm also figuring out ways to finish the rest of the characters. I'm starting to look more into full body outfits so that I can do a full head to toe creature on film. So I wanted to test out some silicone sleeves or silicone gloves. For some weird reason, it's easy for me to spend money on the masks, but I always look at the gloves and think I'm not spending 625 box on a pair of silicone gloves because most characters you can just throw on a pair of black gloves and that really does work or buy like a amazon monster hands and cut the fingers off i'll do a video on that showing you the ways that i think it can be done but it's always hard for me to pull the trigger on an expensive pair of silicone gloves but i wanted something that would work for just a nondescript monster and if you just have some grotesque horrifying monster you can't get away with just simple human hands or black gloves so i wanted to get crazy awesome beast gloves from immortal masks so let's unbox it and take a look at them now, can I have one gripe? I love Immortal Masks. I love the quality of their masks. Their stuff is so amazing, but their production times are outrageously long. I ordered this mask on August 8th and it didn't get to my house until almost Halloween in October. So I waited all through August, all through September and most of the way, two thirds through October before this ended up getting to me. So if you have like a film that you're trying to do next month or even two months from now, Immortal Masks might not be an option for you because the production times are really long. But if you are willing to wait almost three darn months to get things, at least two months usually, then Immortal Masks quality is pretty much second to none. But I had to get that gripe out of there. Immortal, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mortal always sends stickers too, thank you. All right, these are beast silicone gloves from Immortal Masks. And they are really, really cool looking, as you could imagine. I will also maybe try to get some close-ups here. And since I don't really need to do any kind of movement video in front of like a, a black screen or a green screen, I can just kind of show you here what they look like. I can even show you some close-ups on the paint job on these. So these are the flesh colored gloves, the flesh option with bone nails. It also comes with black nails. I wanted bone. And again, I don't really have a specific use for these. I just wanted something that looked like a monster. You could do a hundred short films just on a, a, a scary hand that comes up as the jump scare at the end from the underneath the bed or from, you know, behind the dark doorway. You could do a whole horror movie without showing the creature by just having a really cool hand. I think you could get just as much use out of a cool set of hands as you could a really cool mask. Now, one tough thing that I've noticed, this is my one, two, three, fourth pair of silicone gloves. Maybe I'll show some of the other ones in another video, um, but they're really difficult to get on by yourself, most of them. These look like they're gonna be a little bit easier. Maybe I'll just put one on for now too, just so you can see how it looks. Now, I know people also use alcohol to lubricate the inside of the glove so that it slides on a little bit easier. And then that alcohol dries very quickly and it's gone. Uh, I don't like to put anything like that on my gloves. I just like to fight with them and earn the right to wear them. I don't know why I'm saying that, but getting on one is usually pretty easy, but once you have one on, to get the other one on is like a humongous pain in the ass usually. It really helps to have friends, which I don't, so I have to struggle when I put on silicone mask and I have to look like a complete moron. So I'm just gonna put one on for now, just so you can see how it works. Really neat, right? It's kind of cool how the muscles are kind of built in. So it looks like you have this big, muscular, ridiculous forearm. It's really, really comfortable. I would say it's actually a little bit big or my wrists are maybe a little bit small because you're getting a little bit of that kind of unrealistic folding action maybe. So you'd have to be careful how you use this in a film, but man, is it neat, right? Just a crazy, 
who knows what the hell it is monster. If you are looking for gloves, they are run around the same price as the silicone masks usually do. In this case, these are the Beast silicone gloves from Immortal Masks and they are $625. So a little expensive, but you can imagine how many cool things you could do with a cool pair of monster hands. Nothing creepy like that, you sickos. That's not what I was thinking. But yeah, you could probably do that too. So comfortable. I thought it might be a little bit annoying having your finger split like that, but it's not too bad. Imagine this thing coming up from underneath your bed. So cool, right? Very cool. Is that cool? Is that cool? Very cool. Very cool. And just like all of Immortal Masks products, their attention to detail and their paint jobs are awesome. You can see veins inside of here. Uh, the bones look completely real. They are silicone on this part. And these ones actually maybe are acrylic or some sort of foam maybe it feels like. Yeah, some sort of foam. Which is cool because then if these were silicone, you might not be able to grab things or scratch things with them. I feel like if you had this in a movie, this thing should be scratching down the wall or it should be grabbing a hold of people. And if these were made out of silicone, they would just bend. They bend real easily and they wouldn't look real. But since they are like a harder, more dense foam, uh, they don't bend then. They look a little bit more realistic then for close-ups. <laughs> so I instantly thought of pairing this mask from the Madness FX with these claws. I thought that would be a full, complete costume that might be really cool. So maybe look out for that. It's not a perfect match color-wise, but it's pretty close and pretty cool. So I might try to do a full head-to-toe creature with some of my masks. So stay tuned for that. And if you're into this weird, creepy crap that I do on this channel, then please do all of those things you're supposed to do to help a channel grow. And I will see you in the next one. Ah!